peace, peace, family. You cooling with the completest and today we're going to be talking about Primal and Dragon Ball Superhero. Long story short, you know, to keep it all brief for y'all, man, Primal has been a masterpiece. It's, two, it's on season two, episode seven, episode eight comes out this weekend on, on Friday, I believe. It's crazy, man. Um, I just, I, listen, it's beautiful. It came out in 2019. Um, and it's one of them shows that doesn't, there's there's little dialogue, but everything is understood. And you get great character progression as well, you know what I mean? And the thing about, if you, anybody who's ever watched Samurai Jack, yes, the animation is unorthodox in nature. It's not really anything great, you know, when it comes to detail, but they implemented their vision, you know what I'm saying, and brought history, mythology, prehistoric, you know what I'm saying, prehistory, you know what I mean, um, different creatures, um, showing us the peak capabilities of humans at in their primal state, you know what I mean, it's just a beautiful show, beautifully structured, um, the episodes aren't long, only like 20 minutes each, 10 episodes a season. I mean, the first season was 10 episodes. We don't, I, don't, I don't think that's going to be 10 seasons this season as well, but who knows? They might, you know, throw a curveball. But either way, it's a great show. You have Spear and Fang, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, a caveman, in a sense, and a T Rex. And it's the way that they meet. The way that they bond and end up having to help each other is all gritty. It's all, you know, tear jerking and, you know, heart wrenching. Because it's, it's, as a parent, nobody wants to see anything happen to our children. Nobody. We, we don't want to see nothing happen to them. You know what I mean? We want to protect them. But sometimes life doesn't go that way. And that's the, and that's the part about life. But that is something in this story that they kind of shine a light on. They like to, you know, really capture is that life is has the unexpected. You don't know what you're going to get, you know, what's going to happen. But you got to keep moving forward. You got to fight. You got to think. You know what I'm saying? All of that is a part of this show. The cinematography is great. Um, Genity Tarskovsky. Tarkovsky, you know what I'm saying? His storyboard, his story, you know, the writing for this is great. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. Like I said, anybody who watched Samurai Jack, that story is great. And normally stories that have to do with time travel, you know what I'm saying, don't really go that way. But the, Genevieve Tarkovsky has done great with the both of them. But Primal is arguably one of the greatest animations that I've ever seen. And you heard it here first. And go check it out. It's on HBO Max. It's on episode seven. A few episodes left. Don't miss out. You know, and if you want to go to the completest group, go to my TikTok um, or my YouTube. We discussing this. Um, we discussing the show all the time. So don't miss out on the discussion and the content. Next is Dragon Ball Superhero. All right. Now, I first saw the film. I saw it in sub subtitles. And it just came out, like, not even a month ago um, in dub, you know, in English form. And a lot of people just seen it. And I actually went and I just I just saw it myself, you know, in dub. And honestly, the experience was just different. for me. And this is what I was talking about. I said this before, you know, when it comes to sub and dub, you know, it all depends on the actor and actress. And it depends on um, the story, honestly, because Dragon Ball Superhero didn't really do anything for me in subtitle form. You know, it was cool. You know, the um, animations and all the visuals was great or whatever, but it didn't do nothing for me emotionally. Um, that and when I watched it in dub, it did that. It did more of that for me, and I actually was laughed. I laughed way more. I, I was, I, it was hilarious, you know, um, and, you know, Piccolo really stood out, you know, and, 
everybody knows I fuck with Piccolo. I've been saying forever that they've been doing my Z fighters dirty, man. Doing them dirty. And I ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? But they actually showed them some respect, you know what I'm saying, in this film. You know, in a way. Not the way that I actually wanted it, but, you know, it's, I give it a good solid 7 out of 10. But, you know, there, there was a good story, you know what I mean? When you're talking about, you know, um, the Red Ribbon Army, um, you discuss the androids and stuff like that, you know, and, and throughout history, we know androids to be able to hold a lot of energy and be able to expel it too, you know, depending on your, you know, um, your design, you know, and how, you know, recent you were, they, they get more and more powerful than they're supposed to. But either way, when we got sale, you know, I, I like the fact how, um, you know, Gohan had to beat Cell in the first one, you know, and Gohan had to beat Cell in this one, you know, Goku and Vegeta wasn't nowhere to be found. But it was a good show, good, um, good for family too. I feel like families can go and see this as well. I just want to leave y'all with this, man. Everything isn't for everybody. We all have our opinions. We all experience things differently. And especially for people who are fans of this type of stuff, we even have our own visuals in our head and visions of how we wanted to see things done. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. But just know that you you matter though. Without you, without me, without anyone, none of these shows would be, you know what I'm saying, what they are. They need the fandom at the same time. But either way, go check out Primal on HBO Max and Dragon Ball Super Hero is in theaters now. You know what I'm saying? Or if you get to Jack Sparrow on. But either way, you know what I'm saying? Peace, love your family, love yourself. Don't stress about the shit you can't control. All right, peace, family.